So the first step is a crochet cast on. Now you guys know I'm a knitter, not a crocheter. I do know how to crochet a little bit, but um, this is super simple so anybody should be able to do it. You slide your slip knot onto your crochet hook and then we're going to chain by wrapping the yarn around our hook and bringing it through three stitches. Now we're going to bring in our knitting needle and I'm going to set these two side by side like this. I, so my crochet hook has the stitch on it or the loop on it here. Nothing on my knitting needle now. I am going to bring the yarn around to the left side of my knitting needle and I'm going to bring my crochet hook up. Then I'm going to do that same thing that I did earlier and just chain one stitch, then bring the yarn, what is that, counterclockwise around my knitting needle to the left side and chain. Again and chain. We'll do a few more times here so you can see what that looks like. There we go. And then when you've got all the stitches that you need for your cast on, then you just go ahead and chain like three more stitches at the end and cut your yarn and pull it through. And now at this point, you're ready to start knitting right into those stitches with your working yarn. And you have done a provisional cast on also known as a crochet cast on. So on this sample here, I have already cast on and I've knit four rows of stockinette. So this is the crochet chain that we started out with. The first thing I want to do, and remember I said, we're gonna need two sets of needles. This is where the second set comes in handy. We're going to unzip. So this is what it looks like. Now when we get here, you want to be a little finicky with your work and look down in here. That's your tail. You don't need that. That can come out. But right here, you can see that's that first stitch. I want to slide that onto my knitting needle. And come through here and pull. And then you can see the next one pops up there. And you do this all the way across picking up those stitches. Now you don't want to unzip it and leave all those loops active and then go back and pick them up because then they could um, drop down and come undone. So I like to just do it one stitch at a time. And you want to use contrasting yarn so that your eyes will thank you later. You see how that is? And just relax and enjoy the process of picking up these stitches as you unzip that cast on. Now when you get to this last stitch, it looks a little funky, a little wonky. That's okay. Your um, waist yarn will be through that stitch. This is the last stitch here. Slide it on and then just pull your yarn out. 